going to talk to you a little bit about my big campus this morning and hopefully you guys will have an opportunity to uh, explore. That's what we're hoping to, to do for you as well and learn a little bit about how you can manage my big campus for your classroom so that you guys can have an awesome classroom uh, experience with your students. That's what we're hoping for. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to show you as we went through this is just real quick some of the things that my big campus has to offer. And over I'm going to click out of here for a second over in resources. If you click on that, you're going to find yourself um, going to a website that will have some resources here that I've left for you. Uh, this one here will show you how to make web pages in my big campus, which is really the group that, for example, what you see right now is what I'm calling a web page here, uh, because you can have it where when they go to your school and click on your name in the faculty section, you can actually have it set where it'll open up here in my big campus. You can just get with your various tech people for more information on how to redirect it, or Mr. Motes himself can actually probably redirect it as well. Um, just let him know, hey, I want to use my, my big campus page for my uh, resource page or for my faculty page, and that, and that will work just fine. So this will show you lessons. There are a series of lessons on how you can do that step-by-step -step instructions. If you get stuck, that's a good place to go. It's really fairly easy as well, but if you're intimidated, start there. It'll be great. And then this one here is uh, the notes that I've left for myself and Beth to, to work on as we um, prepare for this meeting. And of course, these notes here can possibly change, but I do want to talk a little bit about what my big campus has to offer. And so that's what I'm going to point out right now, if I can. If it's <laughs> kind of buffering here as I try to film and do this at the same time. So basically, I want to talk to you a little bit about the teacher's resources that are available on my big campus. There's a component called EduTalk and Topics. We're going to talk a little more about that. Uh, so you can actually get information and share with other teachers throughout the country uh, on my big campus, kind of like what you might do with Eduphoria. Um, students and class management, a, a place where you can share information with your students, assign schoolwork to your students, etc. Uh, all of that, and, and even create classroom discussions, um, all there inside the uh, group component of my big campus. The schoolwork component is one of those things in which you can create schoolwork. Uh, as lengthy as you want it to be or as um, little as you want it to be. It could be as in-depth as you want it or very basic. And look at me misspelling words here. I love it. So I'm going to change it up right now. Um, and you can do that through the schoolwork component. In fact, you can even create quizzes and assessments that have uh, answer keys already built into it so that when the students uh, finish taking the test, they already have a grade on what they did and it sends you the report of what their grade was and it can break it down per question for you as well so you know which students miss which question and which questions were the most troublesome for the students. So it breaks down all of that for us as well. There's also a component called bundles in which you can create a lesson with multiple resources and media all bundled in one location. Uh, you can also save it for your own distribution uh, where only those who you give a link to will have access to it or you can create a bundle that's available to all of my big campus users and you can even create a bundle that's available to those people outside of my big campus. All of that's possible through the bundle component. We'll talk more about that later. Then there's the library, which basically uh, is a place where you can add websites or YouTube videos uh, that you would like available for an, uh, class use. Now, a word of caution on that, the YouTube video component is a nice one because YouTube is blocked here at our school, but if you find a YouTube video you like, you take that URL address, you could actually place it and add it to the library yourself as a teacher. Students can't do this, but you can. And you can add it and uh, have that available to the students uh, in your classroom without having to go in and blocking YouTube for them. Um, so that's one of the things that you can do. The website version of that doesn't work quite as well. If there's a blocked website, it's still blocked, even though you might add it to the library. But that may be a way that you prefer to add uh, websites to your lessons that you might want the students to see by adding it to the website library here, or you can check out the website li library to see what others have found as well. Um, but I personally, to me, it's just easier to copy the URL link and then pasting it within the assignment. It's a quicker way of doing it than going to the library, adding it, and then going back and adding it to your assignment. Anyway, so we'll move on. Um, 
And then also social networking in, uh, in a safe environment. This is something that's available for the students and for you as well. The cool thing about the social networking part here is it is a filtered environment. Um, you can get flagged for inappropriate stuff. It is monitored. There are reports that are given and all this. And, uh, but it does provide a way in which we can teach um, netiquette, if you will, and uh, also watch for things such as cyberbullying and, and teach uh, better skills on the internet and how you interact with one another in a more productive way and not so much a destructive way. So that's one of the cool things I do like about it. It's kind of a Facebook for students uh, in a filtered environment. I like that. I like that component of it. So those are some of the things that we're going to be talking about here today and hopefully you're excited about it. I know we are. Um, but the first thing we're going to talk to you about uh, live and not on this video is we're going to talk about the groups and all the things that are available to uh, to you in the groups. For example, the group that you're watching this on right now is one that you are a student and uh, Mr. Dial and Mrs. Buckner are the administrators of this and um, so we have control of the group and decide how uh, best to use this website and you get to see it from a student perspective. But through this process you're also going to create groups yourself and learn how you can be in control of your group and, and start managing your students as well in the classroom. Hope you get a lot out of the next couple of hours and enjoy your time.